Foodies, at long last, we are back with our final dinnerly meal. Yes. Of this box. Who of knows? this box. We might not get. We might get more. Did we pay for this? Yeah. Oh, okay. We bought it this. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. They didn't, didn't send it to okay, us. They didn't we send this. it to us. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, I like this. I would pay for more of these, honestly. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, not a problem. I mean, these have been great. They're super simple. They're very, they're zero percent pretentious. Um, yeah, that's true. And it's good food. You know, again, there's there's no sides or anything with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you kind of miss out on that. I kind of right. do miss having like, you know, a full meal rather than, hey, here's a very simple thing. Right, you know, like here's a, pizza a or main dish instead of any side dishes. But again, like if the main reason that you haven't gotten one of these types of boxes is because they're too expensive, just grab one of these. Yeah. Super simple, super easy, very low priced. The cat's trying to escape. <laughs> so that is Where are you going, Cello? Step one, grab the pork and roll in 12 meatballs. Hey, look, we get to finally eat your pork. Ugh. Mm, eat your pork. Phrasing Lana. <laughs> Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Roll sausage into 12 meatballs. Peel and very thinly slice two large cloves of garlic. All right, I'll get started on this. I will boil some water. Uh, right. All right, 12 meatballs. I'm just gonna... This uh, this sausage is odiferous. It smells good, yeah. Reminds me of Carnivore Club. Ah, oh, Carnivore Club. <laughs> Got 12 of those suckers, approximately. Doesn't really... It says 12. Really, if it's just you and one other person, just make two really big honking ones. Oh my gosh. And you'll be fine. They'll take forever to cook and they'll burn on the outside, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, a little bit. But really, do whatever you want. Just make them whatever size you want, however many you want. All right, I've got 11. Is that okay? <laughs> I... Except 11. Don't make 11. Oh, come on, it... come on. I... Ah. You, fine. you're so demanding. You're going to pull little bits I'm going to pull little bits off every one. single one to make an 11th meat, or a 12th meatball. I just wanted to see what you would do. <sighs> I'm going to strangle you in your sleep. Alright, you got 12 now? Why do you have to touch every single one? Because that's how I'm measuring the size of them. I look totally OCD, don't I? Yes! <laughs> Must touch all the meatballs. You gotta touch them once. That's how I'm measuring the size of them, okay? I, I'm not weighing them. I, I could be not... over here weighing them each. That's actually a better idea. I should just I was gonna away. say, like, no, that would be OCD. <laughs> Weighing every single one when it doesn't this matter. Is, this is no, I was great I was questioning your ability to, to measure the size of things by just rapidly touching them. Oh, that's well, what I'm, I was making no, fun of. I'm good at these things. Because visually, yeah, they approximately look within about you know 15, 20 percent. But if of you feel other. it, you can be like, nope, that one's bigger, that one's smaller. But you're just kind of squishing the top. Yeah, it's amazing. I am amazing. I need you to recognize and appreciate. My amazingness here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna believe that it's just magic. That Isn't you there something it. you should be doing right now? No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need out. oil again. Nonstick pan, fatty, fatty meatballs. If we were using a regular pan, I would say oil. Yeah, sure. Come on. <sighs> this is the episode where we murder each other. Just a little bit of oil. Oh, petit. Okay, All right, chuck them in. Okay, excellent. So those are in. I will finally chop these little guys up. Using the largest knife I can find. Is it the Godfather where they're in jail slicing the garlic soaked in? You can see through it? No clue. Somebody's gonna know. What movie is that? They're in jail and they're slicing it with a razor. Yes, I remember that. Don't remember Godfather? That. Godfather? I don't know. Hey, you're doing a good job. I can totally see through that. Well. Those are your pants, not that one. <coughs> You're right. <laughs> this is the episode where I'm going to die. I love it. Okay. Buddy up your spaghetti dinner with oven baked garlic bread and a crisp green salad. Is it in the box? Right? I saw that and I was like, okay, a beer, I understand. A salad or garlic bread? Come on, man. Just Call your mater D over. Go and... in there. Call your mater D over. I do actually have some bread we could make some garlic with. Too late. I don't have any lettuce. So, um, I have a request yep. that we omit the sugar from the sauce. Or maybe have it or something. Because I don't like sweet sauce and I'm afraid that it's going just to it. make it sweet. Quarter. Add, okay, quarter. I'll just pour sugar on it. How, how much does it actually call for? Because that could be... 
Because I know, you know, a little bit is normal, but... One teaspoon of sugar. A teaspoon? It's not a lot of sugar for an entire thing of salt. Can we do a half? Half teaspoon it is. Okay. Let's do half teaspoon. Okay. So these are looking, these are looking pretty brown. It's been about six minutes. Okay. So let's throw in the, oh, chuck in the garlic. Oh, okay. Just dump all that in there. Even the non-translucent ones. So that's gonna go in for about one minute. And as that is going in there, uh, why don't you open the tomatoes? And I'll get a cup of water ready. Okay, so dump all that in. Okay. Yeah, I think half a teaspoon is fine. Yeah, I mean, because I know the, the sugar is to cut the acidity of the tomatoes, but right. if you put too much, it just makes it sweet, and I don't like sweet sauce. Got it. Oh, I can put the noodles in now? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna simmer over medium high heat until slightly thickened, eight to 10 minutes. And then we are gonna grate the Parmesan, add pasta to the sauce and cook over low heat, gently tossing to coat about two minutes. Serves in bowls with a sprinkle of Parmesan. And that's it. Yeah, these meals are all really simple and easy. Yeah. And um, I like them a lot. <laughs> I was thinking about it too. I was like, I'm totally gonna make those tacos again. Right? It was so easy. You basically just brown some meat, throw in some cheese, and heat up some tortillas. Cabbage. A little cabbage. Salted cabbage. Salted cabbage. Yeah, I mean, whoa! But it's so easy. And very few ingredients, too. Yeah. You know, that's another thing that I always like, is um, when you don't have to get 97 different ingredients. It's so weird that we're not doing more to the sauce. We just put some salt and sugar in it, right? Yeah. That's it? It's freaking me out. I mean, I guess the sausage is already flavored, so the meatballs are good. It's weird that they just didn't have, like, tomato sauce. They had tomatoes and water. Because you're making the sauce. And for some reason, this makes you feel like you're actually making the sauce and not just throwing a jar of Classico on there. It says until slightly thickened, but, like, I don't want watery sauce. Like, right now, this is just... It's, it's really watery. Why don't you turn up the No, 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 it's okay. Look. It's getting better. But I'm about to add the noodles. Well, and then we cook it for an additional two minutes. Well, here, I'll give it one more minute. Yeah, I say we pour it in, because that's pretty, that's pretty thick. It's weird that you just dump it all in there, you know? It is. Because normally it's you take a little bit of this. Right. And take a little bit of that. And, and theoretically, like, you don't have to dump this stuff in there. Although they did say, you know, put it in here to coat, but... And the noodles will um, soak up some of that sauce. Yeah. <laughs> we need a bigger pan. Yeah, this is, uh, this poor pan is upset. See, now it's weird. I have to like hunt around for for meatballs. And it doesn't seem like there's really enough sauce on everything. Why? Well, and here's the problem. Like, if you just want some noodles, but a lot of sauce. Right. Too no. Bad. No. There's no options. And I have to like hunt around this for the noodles. This is the box of no that. options. <laughs> you get what you get and you don't get upset. I'm gonna get upset. <laughs> I mean, I could I give you like a different spoon here. Look. Yeah, no, this is the wrong spoon. And that way you can get more sauce. And meatballs. And less noodles. Also known as watered down tomatoes. <laughs> this is enough for eight people, so. I know, this is the first meal where I feel like we might not actually eat it all because the last two, there were no leftovers. Mm -hmm. There's like no sauce in here whatsoever. I know. This is like the, either that the or, sauce, well, here's the problem. It's been sucked up by the rest of the noodles that we're not going to so eat. It was so watery. It was, yeah. it was like not. Go for it. Okay, now for the taste test. Get an actual tomato chunk in there. The meatballs are tasty. The spaghetti the would really... be better if it had sauce on it. Yeah, right? Like any sauce whatsoever. I like would add tomato, tomato flavoring. flavoring. <laughs> I would add tomato sauce to this recipe. Yeah, it's it's just that it's thin and like non-existent. And got sucked up by all. I the mean, meat. there's no, a little bit. But there's plenty left. It just got eaten up by the rest of the spaghetti. So um, honestly, what I would do is I would not put the spaghetti in with the rest of it. That was ridiculous. I should have known better. Well, and we um, should have thickened it up or added. Something. Spaghetti sauce. <laughs> the meatballs are amazing. Those the are meatballs really are really good. good. That yeah. sausage was so, so good. Um, the overall thing is fine. I think this one is a little bit of a miss. Um, 
I would have just done it a little differently. I would have, yeah, maybe thickened up the sauce a little bit and mm -hmm. um, not thrown in the spaghetti, and then I think it would have been fine. So. Yeah, I mean, that's really the only issue is the sauce. Yeah, the sauce is yeah. not good. No. I'm not impressed with the sauce. Everything else is fine. The noodles are good. The uh, meatballs are tasty. Mm -hmm. And again, super simple. I love um, the little cheese that they Cheese is in. excellent. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so overall, all the meals, good? Overall, I thought the box was really good. Yeah, I'd say a 9, a 9, and like a 7. Yeah. Yeah, this last one. kind of meh. Overall, we give it an 8. It's not bad. <laughs> Especially for the price. Half yeah, the price. for the price, I mean, I think that it's awesome. I like that they're all easy and simple recipes. Yeah. I mean, even though, yeah, we've, we've kind of mocked the lack of side dishes, but... Honestly, who cares? I mean, you do get what you pay for, um, but I think this is a good value uh, mm -hmm. for what's in there. Um, yeah. And all of them are super tasty. This isn't, this is still, this is cheap, but it's not low-end food. Um, exactly. I mean, it's all like organic, grass-fed cows and shiz like that. Mm -hmm. And shiz like that. And shiz like that. It's a classy AF. All right, so overall, I think the box is awesome yes. and, um, you know, definitely one to try out, especially if you're looking for a less expensive box, because some of those boxes can be really expensive. Super expensive. You know, I mean, yes, they're convenient and they're good and they're fun, but they're expensive. And also, a lot of them you have to eat, like, very quickly, because that yeah. ingredients, like, you got to eat them that night. Yeah, you can't those be busy ingredients wilt and stuff. I feel like right. these ones would have lasted a little bit longer. Yeah, they would have lasted at least a week. You know? Yeah. So anyway, I like it. I like it for what it is. You know, it's not pretending to be something else. I think right. that it's awesome for what it is. Yeah. So I give it a thumbs up. I'm totally making those tacos again. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen our other two videos, make sure you check those out. I will link them in the description box down below. We have lots of food videos, yes. boxes, just stuff that we decided to cook. Whatever. All sorts of things. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!